know, there's nothing like after a hard day of fishing and drinking beer when you're hungry and you're tired, but you've got to have something to eat. And you got friends coming over and you need to fix something fast. And that's what Captain Bud's cooking show is all about. Captain Bud's kitchen and we're going to cook up a little pork loin that I bought at the grocery store today. we got to make sure that Smoking Joe, our cameraman and lead guitar player, is there where he can see us doing what we're doing. And what we're going to do tonight is we're going to have pork loin with mushrooms with grilled asparagus and it's just so easy. It's just going to you're just going to go, why in the world have I never done this before? And if you'll notice right here, if you'll look, you see that little yellow tag? Now remember, this show is for poor folks. This is day-old pork loin, and it was half price. What you really ought to do first, after you've been out there fishing and putting worms on a hook and catching minnows in a bucket, you probably ought to stop and wash your hands. So we're going to put everything on hold for a minute while we wash all the fish guts and worm poop off our hands. thing you got to remember is that bachelors and divorcees and old guys like me, we don't have every cooking accoutrement available to modern man and modern woman. So you just grab whatever will work under the circumstances. And in this case, I have a uh, little, I don't know what it is, a cookie sheet or something like that, that my buddy Smoking Joe, my lead guitar player, best buddy in the whole world brought over when he came by to stay for a while while he was between years. Most people, if you watch them real cooking shows, they got all these ingredients that they buy and they got all this stuff that they want to get you to cut up and chop up and make it all just right. But I found that if you just get you a good marinade like this, you don't really need this right here is called hot and spicy. Allegro marinade seasoning and true, not the false, the true Creole sauce. So we're just going to get some of this. And I like to poke holes in mine, you know? Get you a fork and poke a bunch of holes in it like this. And not only is it good to tenderize the meat and get all the flavor inside of it, but if you've had a really bad day, it's a good way to release a lot of aggression. So there, now you've prepared your meat and you've tenderized it. So here now, it's just not a pork loin if it don't have mushrooms with it. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna reach over here. Now, some people, some people would go out and they'd pick their own mushrooms and clean them and they'd take a hog with them so they found the best ones and all that stuff, but me, I just go to the grocery store and I just get some that's already chopped up and whatever and I just dump them in like that. Look at there, that is so easy. You know what, I bet you could even do that, Joe. What do you think? You think you could figure out how to do that? I uh, guess so, I don't know. It sure is entertaining though. All right then, all right. So right here, what I got right now is a Vidalia onion from Louisiana. And these are the Swiss, man, these things are like eating apples. I mean, if, I, if it didn't make my bread smell bad and my little sweetheart Rachel wasn't coming over later, I'd take a big old chunk out of that and just take a bite of it just because it's so dead gum tasty. But it's been in the refrigerator for about three weeks, so I'm going to cut off a little bit of it so I get all the dried part off of it there. All right, then. It's real important when you're cooking with Captain Bud to always, this is the most important tool that you have in your whole repertoire of everything that you need is, is a good beer mug. And it's very important at all times to keep this full because it's inspirational and it just, it, it's just necessary for this type of operation. It's very important that you always keep one of these handy because cooking is hot work. Now, I never said that I was a chef or that I knew anything about cooking, but I ain't never cooked a meal yet where anybody turned their nose up to it. So, don't, if the critics paying this show, it'll be because they don't know what good eating is. 
I would like to introduce you to the most incredible food that was ever invented by God on this earth. And my guess is probably that when Eve was in the garden, it really probably wasn't an apple. It was Senor Jalapeno. So you want to preheat the oven, which I'm going to do right now. Let's see here. You want to put it on the bake right there for, oh, let's say about 350. And you want to cook this little thing for about two hours. Now we're going to put some peppers on there. There we go. Now that's ready to go in the oven. And here's, here's, here's the trick to it. Get some of this tin foil out. We're going to cover this. Thing. Now, people got all kinds of fancy dishes that you can do all this and you don't have to use all this tin foil and you can put a lid on this and it'll cook up real fine. But my mama always used tin foil and that's good enough. If it was good enough for mama, I can tell you right now it's good enough for me. Because I didn't get this slim trim physique from not eating mama's cooking. All right, now, the hard part's done, all right? So we're going to take a little break while Joe sets the camera back up, and we're going to go out on the patio, and we're going to enjoy the lake for a minute, and I'm going to fire up the grill, and we're going to do some patio. going and cooking outside is being able to handle your beer and your cigarette and what you're cooking on the grill all at the same time. Open the door and get out here without dropping nothing or falling down. The later it gets, the more you're going to fall down. So here we go. And this thing has a tendency to flare just a little, so everybody step back. Now we're going to reach over here and we're going to turn the startup button up. Oh, Lordy, I didn't need that hair on my arm anyway. That shit, that stuff grows too fast. So I got this asparagus that I've dipped in the butter and the garlic and whatever. We're going to spread it out on here. It don't take very long, and you got to watch it close because it'll burn. I'm tell you, everybody that ever turned their nose up at this asparagus just don't know what's good. And always make sure you turn the grill off because the last thing you want to do is burn the house down, wake up about 2 o'clock in the morning running out of the house in your underwear. There we go. You don't wear underwear. <laughs> well, I think our pork roast is about ready. Look at yonder, look at yonder. Woo wee! Mm -mm 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 -mm. One thing you always want to do is try and get two plates that match. We got two of them. That come from my second divorce. We're gonna cut a little bit of this off here, right? There. Ooh, look at there. Typically, I cook something like this on a Sunday, but Sunday I was out on the lake. I got a little carried away and forgot to come home and cook supper. I'm gonna hold this up to the camera. You see that? You see that? It's got just a little bit of pink left in it. You don't ever want to overcook pork. This pork will get too dry if you cook it too long. And you don't ever, life don't have to be boring. You can live life to the fullest every day. You can praise God and you can enjoy life. Now let's take this out on the porch and sit there and eat this right as the sun's going down. This just goes to show that you don't have to be no big chef or go to a cooking school to cook. All that we ask is that you just give thanks to our Father. And we just thank you for this wonderful meal and we thank you for joining us today. And we just ask you to give thanks to the Lord every opportunity that you get. And in your son's name we pray, amen.